uh, just have come back from a very very long and um, and uh, uh, stressful Victorian uh, civil administrative tribunal hearing, whereby the uh, the parties of Monash Health and Bernard Daniels uh, as parent and guardian and uh, medical power of attorney were forced into a compulsory conference. Also there was the Office of the Public Advocate. The purpose of the conference was to determine whether or not the parties could resume discussions and really be forced into some sort of a mediation. Now you sign agreements in this um, meeting that nothing can be discussed and that's fine. Very informal hearing. However, um, the Monash Health organisation is still extremely intransigent. This is not to do with what was said in there. This is to do with a position that hasn't changed. It's simply clarified that Monash Health will not entertain any uh, other position other than them continuing to control um, Garth Daniels uh, under a control order and continue electroshock. This is not um, disclosing anything that was said at the meeting because that's private, but that is their position and that's been their position all along. Now the intransigence of the organisation, the corporation, to be uninterested at all in any other decision and um, other than it was, it's interesting that um, it's now very clear that uh, a potential transfer of Garth to Queensland under uh, Dr. McLaren seems to be not possible. Um, now that doesn't disclose anything that was said or any evidence that was given or any discussions that were had, but that is their position, so that's not disclosing anything. But it's very interesting that uh, it's now very clear that uh, that organisation, that corporation, will not shift that position. So discussions are futile and um, at least the good thing is because of the very, very uh, a large amount of world protest, um, and thank you all for joining in worldwide, particularly the professionals in the psychiatric industry, that your esteemed um, avowance that um, there are some very, very tragic things wrong in psychiatry that the world pressure that you're bringing about, as well as the uh, survivors in the movement, uh, the world pressure, plus the United Nations intervention, uh, requesting this to be stopped, and that calling it a violation of, uh, con of uh, convention law. It's very interesting that that world pressure has brought about a result now that the request for the parties to take guardianship um, and power of attorney from Bernard the father have now been withdrawn. So Bernard remains power of attorney, medical power of attorney and guardian of Garth, which is a wonderful thing. So sense is being brought to the heads involved, but it's just a shame that the uh, state and federal governments do not immediately intervene and state that it is United Nations Convention, agreed convention, ratified convention law that the continued treatment of Garth and electroshocking of him and forced treatment is unlawful. It's a violation of law that Australia has ratified the uh, International Convention on the Rights of Persons with Disabilities. So they are breaking the law by doing this and the sad thing is they know it. So we're working to bring in uh, as much pressure, further pressure as possible and to bring Australia's internal laws uh, formally in line with um, the, the convention and stop this heinous rogue butchering killing by psychiatrists that force people to be treated and force people uh, to remain in control orders. Um, so we'll just watch this space, continue fighting, continue fighting through the courts and uh, thank you all so much for your wonderful support and making this the awareness of this worldwide because it is actually working but working very slowly. We shall never stop. Thank you.